to this one. I thought this is quite interesting news too. This is courtesy of Hypebeast. And this is the first official look at the potential Union LA and Nike Cortez collaboration. And I just want to say flat out, because again, I think sneaker collaborations nowadays are going through a bit of a weird phase. And I feel like they're either using sneaker collaborations as an opportunity, these brands, right, to promote models of shoes that aren't necessarily that popular and to kind of give them another chance a second third fourth fifth life or whatever or it feels like the brands themselves are collaborating with these footwear companies or sportswear companies they're using the collaborations as an opportunity to kind of explore stuff they could never do on their own in-house right because supposedly from what i read footwear is one of the most hardest place it's kind of the hardest industries or categories to get into um to kind of produce your stuff your own in-house or with the only manufacturers it's really difficult which is why a lot of people collaborate with other brands blah blah blah, blah. but i also like this idea that people are just kind of using collaborations as an opportunity to make people fall in love with shoes that they never really gave a second look to. Not a chance, I just never gave a second look. And I think a Nike Cortez won those shoes. I don't think people out there really hate Nike Cortez in that way because it's quite an innocent, easy, um, simple, classic, somewhat modern shape and silhouette. But I think a lot of people just kind of be like, meh, it's a Cortez, who cares, you know what I mean? But when I saw these, I was like, okay, wow. Union have done a great job by somehow taking a Cortez that's a bit meh, elevating it to a point where it can be a bit of a neck turner because I don't think anyone has ever kind of twisted the neck to look at somebody's wearing a pair of Cortez on the street. But they've done it with these and they look bloody brilliant. I'm not going to lie. They look so, so, so good. Um, and again, it makes a lot of sense too because the Cortez is something that's kind of um, synonymous with LA and gang culture and all that wallarchy, right? So there's obviously a connection that way. But just in terms of the shoe and what it actually looks like, they've smashed it. Like, let's not deny it. They've absolutely smashed it. Um, as you can see on the screen, it's kind of um, majorly a sort of camel suede colorway with little flashes of red um, suede or new buck on the upper. It's got an interesting lace choice that's sort of, you know, got a mixture of the suede and the cream in it um all linked into one it's got the tab right towards the front and then on the paneling on the upper it's sort of split the, the interesting part is this right here and here somehow they split the paneling so it's like suede and then on the other side it's kind of like whatever this denim -y sort of uh, jacket sort of print is on the other side of thing which is really cool i don't think i've ever seen that on the shoe where the paneling sort of split like that in that way and then there's one half this so is basically three bits of material that you can basically see, right? I'd imagine like one, two, three, like in those kind of bits or maybe here or pattern. It looks really, really cool. Um, obviously how they've done the tongue, they've done the back flap. I'm sure if you lift it up, there's a, probably another sign there with Nike and whatnot. The midsole. <coughs> um, they've kind of made the sole, it's a little bit more rugged than what you do from a classic Cortez. It kind of makes it look a bit acg in one way, shape or form with this kind of, you know, little mud guard or back flap here in the front and assembly here towards the toe. But it just looks really absolutely cool. It really, really does. Um, here's an article courtesy of Hypebeast sort of explaining a little bit more about it. It says, um, on top of giving Nike the Dunk Low a Midnight Navy, uh, sorry, the Dunk Low Midnight Navy makeover, Chris Gibbs Union LA in Prince to add a Nike Cortez to its list of collabs. Giving the sneaker world an early look in the 2022 collab um solab uh teased two colorways a khaki and a black turquoise and green colorway oh i like that one um um, as this is just the first look, there could be possible slight changes in the colorway and design, but these images should be enough to get fans a good idea what to expect next year. And at the bottom here, we have this sort of like grayy khaki colorway that looks fucking banging. Again, look at how they split the materials here. That looks really cool, especially here at the back. Oh, I guess the back isn't split, so it's split towards the front with this sort of suede and whatever this denim type material is that obviously extends onto the back. So it's sort of like a window in that little side panel there. And it's all tonal as well. The laces, like that looks so good, man. Legitimately, I've never considered wearing a Cortez in my life. I think the the my Cortez history begins and st starts at maybe 14 years of age. If I'm not mistaken, I had an actual pair of Cortez and I had a pair of Reebok Cortez. So I had a pair of fake ones that weren't really Cortez, but they were made by, I'm going to say Alisi. Alisi at that time, 
I think had a lot of models that were basically Nike shoes without the branding or without the logo. And I remember getting a pair of Cortez that I absolutely lived in. Then because I didn't have any money, of course, my parents didn't have any money. They then bought me the pair of Elise's from Sports Direct that was, that was a copy. And then for whatever reason, I decided to take those shoes to school and wear them and play football straight away. And obviously, at the, if you know anything about Cortez, especially the front, you start running in them and scuffing and playing football in them. It scuffs them and it makes them flick and get all mashed up and tools that just after one day, I basically turned them into absolute astroturf they were absolutely banged and i remember getting absolutely i remember getting in big trouble by my parents actually i think i actually might have got banged too <laughs> i'm not gonna tell, i think i might have got swung across the living room because of it as well because i remember those elites i had were like all white um maybe with like a with like a green symbol or something and i came back home and they were like you know majorly brown the front of it was all peeling off and shit because obviously they weren't really great leather because it was mostly an elite shoe i got in mad trouble for them so that's the only time i've actually worn elites and for the most part my feet considering how fat they are or wide towards the front they're not exactly suited to that elite silhouette but these look so good i'm willing to give them a try i really am willing to give them a try they look so 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 banging um, especially this kind of khaki colorway. Again, it's very similar to like the, um, what is it called? The Tom Sachs Mars Yard that I've obviously beaten into the ground and I now wear his gym shoes. So maybe that's why I'm kind of on them again. But I just love the application of them again. I love how they've kind of put them together. I also love the idea that they've somehow managed some, they've somehow managed to make someone like me who hasn't necessarily thinking about a Cortez in many, many years pay attention to them. And it kind of reminds me of what Virgil was doing, RIP, during his time working with Nike and doing off white projects. What he did really well was he was able to take really mundane silhouettes and sort of bring them into the sort of quote unquote 21st century or make you question your love for a silhouette in the first place that's what he really did as well that was really good i think that new air force one mid that's meant to come out soon was a really good um example of it right like do you really love air force ones yeah cool all right cool what about this air force one that's completely nuts do you really love him for real for real and i think that's what he did a really good job in i think union are doing equally of a good job in these two because think back to the shoes that are originally got leaked i think a few months ago a couple of weeks ago sorry maybe a few weeks ago um the air jordan 2 they're again another model that i've never thought about i think most people that love jordans would say you skip a jordan 2 you go straight from a 1 to a 3 to a 4 to a 5 to a 6 to a 7 to an 8 to maybe a 10 right but you don't go anywhere near twos um so the fact that he was able to take a two and elevate them and bring them to that level um what virgil did with the lows was sick and then obviously what union have done with their mids they look cool too so i'm definitely um anticipating a lot of people who want into both shoes the cortez and the jordan 2 being fans of them and trying to get a pair of uh, trying to get their hands on them once they eventually do come out and then here's some pictures here another article courtesy of hypebeast showing what they actually look like um on the feet and let's not play around in it these look fucking fire um and again mostly these sort of like sneaker pictures i've always made my point here on this show i'm a huge hater of flipping sneaker photography i think it looks super disgusting and horrible um but these look really cool here the simple way they've kind of approached them with just a kid wearing some white pop socks and the shoes just speaking for themselves the only thing i'd say is a slight thing seeing the shoe now in a side profile all in is it me or is the sole a bit bigger than what actual cortez are meant to look like did they actually stack the sole somewhat which again, maybe you might remind me a little bit slightly of what, um, what, what's that called? What's that brand called? Um, Comme de Garçon did with their Nike Cortez, right? A few seasons back, they made these really exaggerated platform um, Cortez with this sort of like a black and white square print on the sole. And they were super, super fat. The only problem is they didn't come in men's sizes. I'm assuming a lot of dudes would probably end up wearing them. But I'm assuming they just came up to women's. But maybe there is some sort of extension they've done on the sole because they look really cool there, man. And maybe again, this flap thing is maybe a little nod to what um, what's the, Sakai have done with their Nike collaboration. It's sort of like a a flap a back tab on the back tab maybe but it, may, it looks like more like you flick it up there's another logo underneath it i think in that regards but these look so so good and again i've never considered wearing a pair of nike cortez but i might consider wearing a pair of these when they do eventually come out they're meant to be cheap cortez's they're not meant to be like 400 dollars so you're hoping retail wise they're going to be fairly cheap and these are easy shoe to kind of rock um definitely something that you might want to double up on as well in that respect especially considering the tongue and what they look like they kind of got that vintage like i said tom Sachs mars yard feel about them but they look so good man they really really 
do look good. I'm not going to lie. I'm a big, big fan of these. And again, big, oh yeah, see, there you go. The, the, the little heel tab has got the um, Union LA logo on it. And it's also, if you lift it up, it's got Nike written underneath on the back. So I think Nike would be happy about that too. They get the ability to plaster their own brand alongside what Union are doing there too. But these look so effing good, man. Oh, so, 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 so good. Um, Again, no idea on release date. I don't think they've said in the article here whether or not they're going to come when they're going to come out sorry um i'm sure they're going to drop fairly soon sometime within the new year uh, maybe around the spring because you know cortez is our breath of summer shoe so i maybe see that happening or maybe they're meant to be a winterized um version of a cortez i'm not too sure but maybe around the spring i'd imagine um they're going to be again really hard to get hold of as per usual you're going to have to put a raffle entry in to gain a chance or win a chance to be able to buy them yourself which is absolutely diabolical but all in all you're definitely going to have a pair of shoes that you're never going to see again too often because i get maybe this is again two things maybe this is nike's way of reintroducing the cortez because they do that quite often they'll kind of select a shoe give it to certain brands to redesign or to interpret in their own way then they'll drip feed those over a calendar year or a few months and that's a way to kind of reintroduce the shoe back into the market or it's just a one-off and union decided uh let's, let's go for a jordan 2 and a Cortez. i don't know i'm not really too sure but it does feel like a bit of a concerted effort they're putting forward in terms of doing this shoe so let's see what happens going forward let's see what happens going forward 